Good morning. It's Rosalie from Can't Wait to Plan. How are you guys doing? Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to upload this today, which is on Valentine's Day, since um, I'm actually doing this project today. I have, to, I have to finish it because it is for my daughter um, first Valentine's card. In any case, you know, my, I've been super sick, so I'm sorry, I've been, um, a little bit missing in action. I did upload a couple of videos that I had in line to upload, but it's, um, it's still far and few in between. Um, I got a cough, a very dry cough from my husband about three weeks ago, and I've been to urgent care twice already, the second time to get even a stronger antibiotics um, and stronger cough medicine. And finally, it's starting to feel better. I didn't even have a voice. Um, and now I'm, I'm actually able to speak for a long period of time without coughing. Usually the worst is when I eat. I don't know why, uh, but I, I still eat the same amount even though it makes me cough more. Um, in any case, uh, yeah, I just, by the way, just watch one of Vagabond Crafter's videos and oh my God, that girl has no business making any videos right now. Um, her voice is horrible. I got to Got to text her and see what's um, what's going on with her. But in any case, um, so my husband and I have been together for a long time. And outside of him getting me some um, pink roses and um, and uh, making a home-cooked meal, we normally don't do much else with it. Even though he did propose on Valentine's Day. Uh, oh my gosh, 1970, no, 1980. 80, oh gosh, how many, uh, 1985, so it's a long, long time ago, in any case, um, but this year, since my daughter just turned 16 in January, I decided to give her her first Valentine card and her first Valentine gift um, from her parents, in any case, so I got her um, just some cute little things since she got a bunch of things for her birthday just about a month ago. Um, she loves um, anime as well as um, uh, comic books. So I saw this K. I actually still have it gift wrapped, um, sort of. That's um, um, it's really nice and huge. Let's see if I can get this a little bit further so you can see. It's from Hobby Lobby and it was 20 bucks, but I got it at a 90% off. So it was only $2. So it was really cute. Then, um, I don't know if you know, I sell Senegent's products, which is a long lasting um, lipstick, makeup and everything else. But she loved gloss. And last year they introduced a line of uh, Zodiac Horoscope uh, glosses. This is a gloss. It it looks, it looks quite, it's a moisturizing lip gloss here. It looks very, you know, colorful, but it is a gloss, so it's very sheer on, and she loves glosses. So I got her one in her sign. It's, um, I didn't give it to her for her birthday because it was sold out, and I had to take me a while to find it from another reps in our company. Then I got her, um, kind of, um, what do you call this, um, a really, I found this at uh, Marshall recently. Um, Rose Quartz is one of the birthstones for, it's a really cute box, by the way, double, double lidded and everything. Um, Rose Quartz is one of the birthstone for January for Capricorn. So I got her this. They love gold, as you know, the, the teens these days, and they love anything really tiny. And I thought that's super cute. This was from Marshall for $17. No sales or anything, but I thought it was a good price to get that. So she got that. Her, her favorite color is purple, but this is my favorite color. <laughs> this is, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but this is a beautiful, um, very light blush, blush rose, kind of like a ballet slipper pink. Um, she's also into the age where she loves clothes, so um, and, and kind of a little bit sexy things because, you know, she can fit in all my clothing now. So I'm starting to um, uh, share with her because I used to invest a lot of money in clothing. I used to work in a pretty um, high level job. I used to manage biotech companies, and um, so a lot of, all my clothes are very. Um, let's say, uh, 
is they're quite an investment so even though they don't fit me anymore a lot of them don't fit me anymore um i save them for her in case she wants it and as as um and she can actually fit in a lot of my things now i was uh, really surprised she got a much bigger butt than i do i have a very very flat bottom but anyway um look at how cute this is it's kind of like a a sheer i don't know if you can tell see-through almost pants it's a little large it's an xl but um the, the style and everything we can definitely um have my tailor fix it and she loved these and it's even like a flare pants she's really into flare pants nowadays too so a bit sexy for mommy but um she can um she can wear it over you know her dance stuff and things like that so it it's doable that's what i used to do <laughs> when i was younger but anyway and then um i also got her a really super cute pajamas um in a red plaid color that she was a a sale one from um from marshall as well um, but it was so cute got and i couldn't find it anywhere but she took it upstairs yesterday um then i also got her from home shopping network um i love this 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 is an old build a bear workshop box it's uh, foldable and we've saved it since i don't know at least maybe six seven years now um and it's such a good size for when you have things that are a little bit bulkier like a quilt i mean a, a throw or this what i got her as well so i was last um at the um, january craft day um they had sweet shop is the name of the company um they had a couple of things this one is a um, valentine cake pops so you you get a super cute little heart cakesicle mold just get, just get two of them you get the you get the treat stick so you stick it right here and you get this edible cookie dough you don't need you just need some cream cheese some butter and um you mix it up it's a dry powder it's actually not a very big uh bag so we may need some more <laughs> uh, very soon if it's tasty and uh, and so on this is in the red velvet um flavor i'll go online see what other flavor they have and then you get a, a bag of um uh, melt chocolate uh, melt chocolate melt in light pink super super cute you see that and one in a uh, let's see one in a red in there too so um what you're supposed to do is you just melt the uh the the, the melts the chocolate melt in the microwave um you line the bottom of the of this with the chocolate mix up the uh, let it chill it in the refrigerator until it's set for maybe 10 15 minutes and then mix up the dough press the dough in make balls and press the dough into here and then melt some more chocolate and pour it on top and let it set and for another 15 20 minutes or whatever there's no baking involved or anything like that i'm not i'm not a cook <laughs> i'm not a baker nothing i don't know anything to do in the kitchen my husband does all of that stuff so i thought this was such a great um thing for us to do together since i don't know how to do any of that okay so that's the first one and then we i got also some um they called them it's from the same company so that was twenty dollars by the way 19.99 um from switch they also have these heart shaped uh cocoa uh what do you call them cocoa bomb and so you get the hot cocoa mix you get these hot cocoa melted uh mold in the heart shape how cute is that right and so on you get the direction and so so forth you get these cute little um, cupcake liner to put the hearts in if you like to put it in a box get the sprinkle um, to sprinkle the thing you got this too which is a piping bag I'm not sure I guess if you wanted to decorate it or something maybe it's maybe that was part of the the uh, cake pop one I get them mixed up because I mix it together you get the same chocolate melt in the pink and a bag of chocolate melt in white 
and then um, and that's it so same price at 20 bucks and I these were just fun things that we can do together um, mom mom and Kayla uh, because neither of us bake <laughs> so there you go so that was her Valentine gifts and um, I started to make her card but I wanted to do this short video because I I know I, I needed something up there and I don't have anything short that I can get up there quickly. So anyway, I recently, in the same craft day, I recently got the Anna Griffin Simply Rocking Valentine card kit. Now these, her, she had a whole auto ship, um, auto ship, uh, whatever series. Uh, this is not part of it, but it's the same idea in terms of, um, you know, her card kit, if you are familiar with Anna Griffin, tend to be a bit more elaborate, a little bit, a little bit too much in some, with some standards, but with her sim simply, um, simply line, it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot simpler to, to put together and so forth. But, um, and I'll show you what's inside in a second. But however, I actually happen to like the more elaborate one. So I, I actually returned the first one in the series. This is not part of the series, but the first one in the series was Simply Christmas. And I didn't like it at all. Um, so I just returned that. The next one is Simply Anniversary. Um, I'm not 100% sure I will keep it yet. And, and then I think the next one after that is simply birthday or the, the reverse, actually. I think sim simply birthday was first or whatever. But anyway, uh, the simply anniversary, I kind of like. But this one, I do like quite a bit, even though I never really care for the, for the rocking style very much, just because you have to really make sure that the embellishment you put on both sides of the, the the card is going to be balanced. Otherwise, it's going to be lopsided. So um, I'll also tell you a little bit, since this is going to be a shorter video, I think, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I process a kit that I know I'm going to keep. So um, the Anna Griffin one, at least, they come with most of the products, comes with a um, idea sheet. Um, or and or an instruction sheet okay so this one has ideas on the outside and then instruction on the inside it's actually a very simple card to make i didn't even look at the instruction um and so forth so that's that then usually what i do is i decide on the eight and a half by eleven sheet protectors i decide if um to to which one to put it in so sometimes i put it in with a paper a sheet of a sheet of white paper inside and sometimes it's just going into it directly now you think most of the time it should be going into it directly right because then you can see both sides unfortunately some of Anna Griffin um, idea sheets and instruction sheet is smaller than eight and a half by eleven which makes it really annoying I'll show you in a, in a little bit when we looked at another one um, that I need for this for this card so um, Anyway, so this is the thing, and I just look at it for ideas if you need that, okay? Um, so for Kayla, I thought this would be kind of fun. Originally, I wasn't even going to make this because um, I wasn't 100% sure I was going to keep it. But I actually, um, after I started making her card, I do like it quite a bit. So, and I'll tell you why in a second. So with that, this this car, um, this kit is $30. Um from HSN and from Anna Griffin is a little bit higher, although I think she has it on sale now. Um, but it's $30, but you can only make 12 cards. So it is about, what is that? About um, uh, $2, three, two and a half dollars a card, which is, which is not inexpensive, okay? So you get two of each style, two of the card base. So you get 12 card base, six style, two of each. So this is the first one. It's super cute. You can see how you fold it. I'll show you in a second. This is the another style. Real pretty. And you get the red one here. And you get another pink one here. This is her heirloom, heirloom lace paper, which is nice. If you have stuff in that line, you're, of course, welcome to use it. 
Here's a really pretty red one also. And then this one is kind of like a, not a, it's a little bit lighter red. And then you have one in with these roses and blank inside. So that's the six style of cards you get. Then you get two of each, a total of 12. Then these are the, you also get two of each of the layering um, layer. So for instance, if you didn't want it to be uh, blank here or no design, you can add this to that with maybe some uh, some foam pads and so forth to give it some dimension. So these are the six that you get and two of each as well. So here's this one and then here's this one. Pretty, huh? I love it with the foiling. Unfortunately, only three of them have foil and three of them doesn't. So anyway, put that together here. And then there's, there's the embellishment that you get with the kit. Now you get two of each, but this is the only thing you get, which I thought was, I know that we are making it simpler and not so confusing, but, and, and that she does have these um, layer flowers in in some of the other flower kits but anyway these are layers so it's three-dimensional but these are flat okay so the bows and these are flat but I thought um, when I started playing with them that this was not enough that was the, my main um, I would say complaint with this kit right now is that she needs to include a little bit more embellishment in that and then it came with two of each of these um, sentiment, um, um, three-dimensional sentiment thing. Now, I've always loved her sentiment um, labels. You know, unfortunately, I can't remake them. I can make labels. I can make sentiment labels, but it's not as fancy and as pretty as that, even if I have the dye to cut that out, per se, because of uh, the foiling and things. It's just so pretty. And then you get 12 of these little um, folded card thing to help the card stand up. And I'll show you how to use that in a second. So that's all the stuff I had to work with. Um, so out of all of the, let me see, out of the six style of cards, I, um, I like for Kayla. Now her favorite color is, is uh, purple, but you know, since this is Valentine, we're going to go with one of these. And actually I like this one the most. Um, you know, she does things, she does love things that are tiny. So this have the smallest amount of, um, of, uh, the print here. And so I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit so I don't have to keep moving it up in order for you to see it. Okay. And then I thought um, out of the six style of layers, I really actually love that um, love that pattern. And I actually didn't, didn't like a lot of these to, to go on top. This was way too busy, of course, as you can tell. Um, and so forth, no need for that. None of the pink I that you need to go with this one. I consider it, but it's still a little pinkish. It's not quite red, which still works with that. This that was that's probably my next choice if I wasn't. But I decided that um, I'm gonna use it as is. That does not give me the dimension that I want. So I at the same craft day, which was January seventeenth of last of last month. I also purchased from Anna Griffin these beautiful um, call it con con concentric enchanted um, dies, and they're three dimensional. They almost um, I actually much prefer dies that cut out instead of just emboss almost. And I'll show you what they look like in a second. But you get four dies. You get a shadow here. You get a regular one and then two more. This one is my favorite because it's really nice, nicely, um, with a lot of nice detail. Okay, so we're going to go with that one. Um, and here's the um, sticker sheets. I mean, the um, instruction or idea sheets for it. Um, by the way, as soon as I put it inside of a of a sheet protector, I always press it in a very with a very heavy um, catalog so that it it minimizes these creases. So as you can see, this one, for instance, it's only this wide. 
you see how it's not and when you when you put it in the in the sheet protector without the paper inside it's sort of floating weirdly in the eight and a half by 11 sheet protectors i figure this one i can do it this way so because th that bothers me but secondly the back of this is just show the die and i can still see it if i really want to that allows me to store anything back here that may be bigger than some of the things that i use um to store the the product that I cut out with this. So one of my goals in 2023, 2013, no, 2023 is to, as soon as I get a product um, in that I'm going to keep, because some of the stuff I looked at it and then I returned it, is um, I'm, I was going to cut them, cut it up and get them ready to be used so first now this this um, sheet is quite empty i do plan to add some additional some more heart shaped dies here it may not necessarily be anna griffin but um and i'll label it down here as well for for the next one um but anyway i cut them out in different formats so i can show you the largest one i didn't i never really love um, the shadow die, I think it's such a waste of money to have such a tiny little border like that. I do matte layer, but in this case with these dies, I just thought it's sort of a waste. So I don't know if you can see, but it's really pretty on the inside, like on the outside like that. You see how it's super plain on the inside there, because usually it's it's another layer for the smaller dies. So I got it in a couple of different um, colors that I figure we'll be using um, for Valentine's. And in this particular um, style, I went ahead and cut um, this die in the inside just to see what it looks like with with um, without a, the inside um, part which which i actually like too because sometimes you you want to have that effects so i got that in here um now if you don't have something that will hold four by six and can hold that in the top this is something that you can add to here because it's small enough but i do like to use these kind of sheet protectors um section out one because it's distributed your your products so it's not all lumpy at the bottom and that doesn't matter how you store it in a binder or in a flip bin it just get your stuffs all weird um okay then i also cut out a bunch of the the middle size one okay and that's this one now i didn't i didn't show it here but i'm going to show it soon um i did do one to for the card um where I had this in on the inside as well. This is the smallest one. And I like that effects quite a bit and I'll show you that in a second. So these are some of the colors to that, you know, ready to use. And even if it's not the exact colors you want, you can always uh, use that as a sizing and so forth. Oh, and let me leave this out so I can show you how pretty they, they look. Um, and then I cut out in a lot more in red just because it's Valentine and a couple of different colors um but you see how gorgeous this this um texture is and so forth that's one of the thing anna griffin does really well because her dye is thicker so um it's it's a lot nicer that way by the way i you cannot get this through the marquees from Di uh, Di diamond press at all it's too thick for it um hers is the thickest one on the market that i know of um anyway so that's what it looks like on the on the smallest heart okay so if you put one together for instance um and you wanted to use all three layers it will look something you know maybe something like this and super gorgeous right that's already a great base for a card and then you can add some embellishment and things like that on the on the side and again you don't need to use this just for cards i gotta remind myself to start using these for um for scrapbooking as well because that's actually a beautiful frame for a photo right a photo of my of my daughter's face all right so um we're gonna stay here and now let me show you what i decided to do with the so i also label 
this one because these two are going to be stored together in my binder and this is going to be stored in my um, file cabinet where I store all the, the heavy dies. I don't store these together. So one is like idea book and then one is where you actually store the dies and I store them by type and by um, by alphabetical order in the name. All right. Okay. So that is that. And so what I did, let me, actually, I do need this real quick. Um, with this, I just, I thought that it will look really nice with maybe something like that. Okay. So, um, so I decided for that, for this, I'm going to put it together and do both at the same time because I may do, um, I may do a, a, I may, you know, pop this up on a foam, foam dot or pop that, this, the outside up on a foam dot or something like that. Um, and that way I get my dimension that way. Okay. So I put that under the, um, the, um, the Empress machine. Now, as I was doing that, going through that, I'm like, you know what? Uh, it's for a teen. They love shaker cards. Everybody loves shaker card anyway, but they really do. So, you know, remember how I think on one of the video, I don't remember which one I was showing you that I save a bunch of these packaging. Some of them is like not even in the great greatest condition. This got glue everywhere. And I, I know I can clean that off, but at the moment I just pick an area that was super clean and I just took the middle size heart die and I cut out a, um, a a thing or whatever a um, um, a piece of acetate for it. So um, so once you get that out of the 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 thing, and I went ahead and put the um, sheet put the acetate sheet that I cut out and thing. You see how this have a nice rim here. So that was easy for me to pop this um, foam tape on a uh, stripped on there. Now I really like I got this as a freebie from hunger dory when i've been buying a bunch of stuff from there and there it's i think that's um i don't know of maybe a three or five millimeter thick foam they have all different thickness they have a lot of rolls and strips and so forth but this was a freebie um there's this strip is quite quite wide it is um like a quarter a little bit more than a quarter a quarter inch wide but um for it to for me to fit that in just that particular rim i cut it in third and i don't know if you can see that but that's a third i use two of them and they fit just perfectly you just don't want any um space in between it so i already did that now i originally i was gonna do i was gonna have i already put the the the, the tape behind there i was gonna do this and then since this is three dimensional, this is gonna pop it up. And then I was going to put the, the um, sequin and confetti or whatever inside here. But I think it, it is such a young girl's card that I think so much of this yellow foil, gold foil is gonna be uh, a little too heavy for her liking. So I decided to just, even though this was nicely already prepared, I decided just to use the card like this as as is, okay, like that. So anyway, I did one already. Now remember this little tap thing that they include with your stuff. They do show it to you in the um, in the um, okay, instruction sheet, but you just valley mountain fold that. And then basically you glue this side and this side to the to the card and that way when they they don't you know it's, it's almost like when you're doing a split and your legs just keep you don't mean to do the split and your legs just keep going and you can't get your legs back up they they want to make sure that when you put the um the rocker card on the table that this part doesn't keep sliding out um and and basically loses its shape so I um, actually, after I put it on here, I saw that I did, I did not, I did not do it um, center. So therefore, <coughs> <coughs> my card, before I even added any embellishment, was already, um, 
uh, what do you call it, lopsided. So for this particular card style, since I can see, um, now I, with my um, overhead light on, I can see where the point of this is. So I basically made sure that I was center right here on there. And then uh, once you glue it, it's already going to be centered in the back. Okay, so you just make sure if, if you can't see basically this point, which is the center of the cord, then you measure it a little bit and make sure that the top is used correctly. Now, I'm going to try to see. Yeah, you see how, because, because this is, I mean, you don't particularly need it, but probably is a good idea just to do it um, so that with time, this just doesn't start to split down and lay down on the on the table, <laughs> so to speak. So it has a nice place where you can put your handmade by um, uh, your signature there. So anyway, I went ahead and put on. I was thinking of maybe putting on a second layer of the of the foam tape because maybe I want it to be thicker and therefore have more shakers. But you know, believe it or not, I don't love shakers where it's so tall and all of the stuff just fall down at the bottom of the um at the bottom of the shaker so this this uh, thickness is actually quite quite good okay for for my liking so anyway i'm going to show you now what i um decided to to use um so here's the card I got out some uh, diamond dots that I bought from Joanne a while back. This is just which I plan had planned to use for for mixes for shaker mix. I found this one from called Cubit from Recollections. Um, that was just more like almost like um, um, it's all oh, look like um, uh, it even looked like chocolate melt. It's so su super cute, and it matched the the um, flowers or the the card perfectly. I also have these. I don't even know where these came from. Um, these little beads that are red that I thought was super pretty. This one don't know where it's from. Oh, this one actually somebody gave me a gift and a, a card or whatever, and it had a bunch of these hearts um, in there, or maybe it was the uh, throw all over a a table when I was tablescape when I was going to a, a Valentine's uh, luncheon network luncheon so I scoop it up and I save it that's why there's no label or anything and then this one is just um, a just some hexagon red um, glitter or, or confetti which since I don't have the anti-static bag yet I may not use this since it seems to be quite sticky um okay so in order for me to not have everything seems like it dropped to the bottom one of my thoughts were that i could take i could take um these super pretty red heart sequin and um put it on some glue dots and that way i can scatter it around the um the card in order for it to um to not feel like everything is on the bottom of the card and when you're shaking it up, when you're, um, you know, when your shaker card is on. So I already added them to, just to save time, I added them to some small glue dots I have. And I think I'm gonna have the flower here, so I'm gonna use it in other area that um, doesn't have an embellishment. So that way it seems like the stuff is there. I don't, I also don't like using things that are, you know, using so much of the sequin mix. I prefer to have it a little bit more sparingly, but it's gonna be down here. So I figure I scatter a few of the hearts shape on the top and that should, um, that should work. And then, you know what? I think I still gonna use a little bit. I have one of these um, gem uh, tiny spoon that I got from a jewelry shop a while back and I thought it was so cute. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. This is gonna be hard because these is gonna roll everywhere. <laughs> and I'm gonna have still a few of these. Oopsie. Oh, don't do that. Get this all stuck to your thing. I forgot and I put stuff there. And I'm gonna have couple scoop of these 
yeah when you don't make them the when you don't make the um the foam pad so thick on the on a shaker card you don't have you're you're more likely that um oh i you know what i never even opened one of these i don't know how it opened okay i don't think i can use it because i don't know how to open it oh oh probably have a some kind of tape that's why you can't open it okay but it's gonna remove the whole thing so i better oh no we don't want that then i don't know what it is oh yeah look at that it removed the whole tape the whole label so i definitely want to tear right here or something let me check never used this before i should have check it okay i i'm gonna i'll put it back on i think i want a, few, a little bit of the gold and silver here oh yeah there you go and Close that. I'm gonna do these in the pretty kind of like a white rainbow dots. It's I mean it's white, but it has a hint of of rainbow when it's um, shaking around. Shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty. So you can tell that I'm feeling better. Oh, man, I've been going to bed. Because if, um, like, I've been late going upstairs and laying down in my bed, like, around 6 o'clock after I feed the dogs. Because a little bit later in the day when I'm tired, I start coughing a lot. And it just hurt my chest so much. So it's been <laughs> kind of funny and crazy um, to be in bed that early. I even skipped dinner because dinner make me cough, you know? So food make me cough so I don't like to to eat late at night because I will be basically getting a headache all right so everything is kind of inside and let's stick this baby on here now this one is oh I keep thinking that it was weighed out here but the frame is much smaller so we gotta go stick these more on the inside, right? Because the frame's only yay big. Hmm. Yeah, I, I was going through by this, by this, um, oops, by this frame, but it's not that big. It's way inside of that. All right, much better. Scoop it in, make sure nothing gets stuck on there. And now let's put this baby on. Pretty, right? So nice. It's kind of lumping a little bit because it's, even though I said I didn't want too much, I still put too much. Oh, so cute. Oh, my daughter's going to love this so much. If my heart isn't exactly centered, but that's okay. So hopefully that's still balanced. Yes. Alrighty, and then um, out of the pack, I found a couple of the flowers that I like. So we'll see. This is actually from a different flower pack that that she has, and um, and I like this one the most. Okay, so I was thinking, I really wanted to use the flower down here instead of up there but i think i have to use it up here because the the um sentiment let me check make sure i'm still in frame the sentiment just doesn't look good up there so i think i'm going to stick it out a bit and then i just got to make sure that i add some other stuff that's a little bit heavier over here so that it will um um it will match the weight of this um of the sticker on this side. 
So these are already stickers, which is awesome. And and this one is a sticker, but I think I need to put a um, foam pad over here on this side because um, because the where is it? I had a because this one it's got to go down. It's got to step down here, so I'm gonna need a couple of. A couple of these, um, whatchamacallit, foam pad. Now her kit comes with foam pads as well, by the way. I think I only need one. Why did I do two? Maybe I need two. Yep, I do. So I need two. Make it all even. Now if you put it up, you see how it's, it's slanted to that side? Because it's too heavy on that side. So I think I'm going to add... this flower down here yep let's do that this is um a flower that is not part of the kit but it matched quite well i pull it out from my stash so do that so i think i need i still need something else on there so i figure i need a bow of some sort so Let's see where my bows are. <coughs> I think we'll do can do a gold bow. A small gold bow is probably yeah. Let's do that. And I can add, this is a silicone glue that I really like. It I was mimicking it to the silicone glue that um, Crafter Companions sell. It basically will, if you don't smash it down, it will keep it three-dimensional as, um, as you put it on your project. So it's pretty cool. But... So make sure you put the lid on right away because it does evaporate um, and so on. And then also for the one of the tail, I think I'm going to keep it so that way it kind of stay just in case. Okay. It's still too heavy. I was hoping that was enough. Okay, so maybe with this one, one more, it will be enough. Because I don't have any more room to put any more flowers. Yes, you see, it's all even. There you go, there's Keila's card, Happy Valentine's Day. And then there's really not space um, anywhere except here. So that's where I'm gonna put her, sign her sentiment and sign my name right here, all right? So I hope you like that. And I will bid you farewell. And hopefully I, I have a couple of, large crafty haul that i need to um, videotape now that i feel a little bit better and um so we'll see you hopefully in a few days talk to you real soon bye for now let me know what you think bye